Okay, so now we are going to look at point C. Okay, we will look at point C. Okay, at C. So at point C, uh, X is equal to 3.2 meters. So it's very specific now. So it's a constant now. Okay, so now again, I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm doing now. Always get your get your distance uh, fixed. Okay, so this is your point A, point B. Right now we're at point C. Right, and then point B you have a load down here, so this is going to be your one twenty. Right, and then the the distance now. So your distance now right so now your distance is fixed at 3.2 meters right and then you know the distance from here to here that is equal to 0 0.8 right and then you have another load coming down. Okay, you have another load coming down. And this load is reading at 50 times 10 to power 3 multiplied by 3.2. Right, so this will be equal to 50 power 3. That's 3.2 is equal to 160 times 10 to power 3. Right, and then you have the distance from here to here. This distance is equal to 3.2 divided by 2 is equal to 1.6. Right, so the, the point of interest is at point C. We know that now. The point of interest is at point C. And then we are going to uh, assume positive shear. And we're going to assume positive bending moment. Okay, so again, same thing. You guys will say, uh, here we go again. Okay, so static analysis from left to right. Okay, after this, this is the last time we're going to do from left to right. After this, we are going to do from right to left. Okay, I want as I say, objective is I want you to compare. Okay, and and it's it's not it's by no means more difficult or whatsoever. Okay, so we are going to do uh, static analysis from uh, left to right still. Right, so positive is going up, and we know down here, right, whatever we calculate will be constant. It will not be an equation. Okay, so some mention about forces in the y direction uh, is equal to zero. So you have the you have one twenty times ten to power three, right? Then you have minus one sixty times ten to power three minus by v at point C is equal to zero. So the shear force at point C is equal to uh, 120 minus by 160. So it's equal to minus 40 times 10 to power 3 Newton. And then you're going to take your moment. Z exactly at point C is equal to 0. So your 120. So again, the distance you have to get the distance right. I, I should have what I what I usually do is I will also will calculate the distance from here to here, right? So that distance is 3.2 minus 0.8 is equal to 2.4 meters, right? So if you don't calculate all this distance, sometimes you 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 miss, miss up. I always mess it up. Okay. So the 120 now is going to do clockwise. So minus 120 times 10 to power 3. Multiply by 2.4. Why 2.4? The, 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 the place where we take our datum or our point of interest is at point C now. Okay. Then the distributed load is doing anti-clockwise. Okay. 50 times 10 to power 3 multiplied by, no, not 30, 160, sorry. 
160 times 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 1.6 distance, right? Then it will be plus by moment about point C, the whole thing is equal to zero. So moment about point C will be equal to uh, 120 power 3 times 2.4 minus 160 power 3 times 1.6. So it will be equal to 32, okay? 32 positive times by 10 to power 3 Newton meter. Right, okay. So that is our constants. Okay, you can see how it looks like now. Okay, now if I come back to this equation over here, okay, if if we if we go back to our our previous page, okay, and 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 you can try, okay, if you now put x, okay, you you now put x is equal to uh three point two, okay, so what will we get? Right, so I'm going. I'm I'm going to briefly. I ju I'm just going to do the shear force. Okay, so if I put v, you go to three point two. So minus fifty, three point two, plus by one twenty times ten to power three. So minus fifty power three times three point two plus by one twenty power three is equal to minus forty times ten to power three. Right, Newton. Right, you 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 can you can see that right. Forty times ten to power three Newton. So if if I were to go to the next page, you get the same value, right? You'll see the same value again. Uh, to highlight. So some of you, the, the same question like before, Eugene, is less than three point two. So now I'm putting in three point. One nine 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 nine. There you go. Okay. So so mathematically. Okay. Right. So the next one that we're gonna do. Okay. Then then the next one that 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 we are we are we are we are going to do now is we are going to deal from point C to point D. Okay. So C to D. And we are, we are, I'm gonna try something different. Okay. Point C. To point D, right? So we know that this is going to be the equation. It's not going to be a constant. So now we're going to deal with 3.2 x 4.0. Okay. And I'm going to base the calculation. We're going to base from, we're going to do static analysis. Okay, we're going to do static analysis from right to left. Okay, I I I I want to train your uh, two pony X. I don't want you to train one pony. X. Only can do one dance. I want you to be able to do both sides. Okay, so how does it look like? Okay, so again, like what? How I remind you guys, geometric datum did not move. Okay, and then we have. Yeah, so now this is our point D. And our point D, we know that we have calculated. That this is equal to 40 times 10 to power 3 Newton. We calculated that already. Okay, and then point C is somewhere around here. That is point C, right? Now our slider. Okay, our, 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 our variable, start from here, go up to here, and this is x. Okay, that's x. And we know that the entire distance from here to here, right, if you look at the entire distance, is equal to 2.4 plus by 1.6 is equal to 4 meters. Okay, so the distance from here to here has to be positive. Okay, it has to be a positive number. It cannot be a negative. So it will be 4 minus x. Okay. All right. So we are dealing with one force down here. So because we are we 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 declare that we are doing our analysis from where? From right to left, right? So for this case, vertical shear 
bending moment is in, in the opposite direction. And our point of interest, okay, our point of interest is here. Okay. So now we, 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 are, we are dealing our analysis in this direction. So from right to left now. Okay. So now we are going to uh, do our uh, shear force, uh, shear force first. Okay. So positive that's going up, summation of forces, y is equal to zero. So this is equal to 40 times 10 to the power of 3 minus by v as a function of x is equal to zero. v as a function of x is equal to 40 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay, positive. Okay. Hey, hold on, hold on. Sorry, and this is plus, so it's negative. I do apologize. Right, because it's going upwards. Okay, so this is minus 40 times 10 to power 3. Okay, now over here, no doubt you see a single number, but it is an equation. Okay, you see a single number. Okay, you see a, there's no function of x, but because it is a function, I mean, it, there's no function of x down here, but this is because it is a constant. Okay. Now, then we look at moment about x, okay? In the z direction about x is equal to zero. So now we have, so we are taking the moment at the red dot. So the 40 is going to uh, anti-clockwise direction, right? So it's positive. So 40 times 10 to about 3, 4 minus x, there's a distance. And then the then the, the the moment is clockwise, so it's minus m as a function of x is equal to zero. Okay, m as a function of x is equal to zero. So m as a function of x will be equal to uh, minus forty times ten to about three x plus by one sixty times 10 to the power of 3. Okay, so that is our, so simple, yes or no, right? So short and so simple. Now I'm going to do, let's say now, okay, I want to, I, I want to only know one side and I don't want, I don't want to know uh, right to left. I do, okay, we can do left to right. I'm not saying that you can't, okay? So now option number two, You are going to do from left to right. Okay, option number two. So left to right analysis. You can, okay? So we're going, we're going, we're going. But there is a lot, a lot of components now. Okay? And you have to be very, very sure about what you are doing. All right. Point A. Okay. Uh, point B, and then we have point C, right? And then this is before. So we we know that at point B, you have your one twenty times ten to about three. At point C, it stops. Okay. So over here now, now the fifty is a constant number. The distributed load is a what? Is a constant number now. Okay. Why is a constant number? Because the distributed load stop at point C. Yes or no? It stop at point C, right? Your 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 slider now, right? Is between three point two x to four. So this is at three point two meters, right? So the distributed load is only up to what? The distributed load is only up to three point two meters. Okay. Sorry, I did not uh move the page. Uh. And I think I have a crash. Hold on, hold on, people. Let, let, let me uh, reshare my screen, okay? Let me reshare. I, I think I have a, a crash at my end. But not to worry, it can be easily sorted out.
uh, view. Do apologize for this page with 